just check. Oh, they already announced it in Taiwan server. Vince Atar is gonna be on sale. And RRG invitations coming back. Okay, next. What's this? New clothes? Oh, we get new clothes. Pog. But this is. No, it's a permanent feature. After you reach 25. Oh, so the level cap is gonna increase after 25, I think. I'm not really sure. Okay. Cool. We'll get more atars. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> when this happens oh my god right when I'm I'm already done then you leveled up are you freaking kidding me Wait, let me just finish this because for some reason I leveled up right after I finish all my dailies, which is <laughs> this is just gonna be fast. Strong, it's like less than a hundred K. I lock the skills. Oh, my God. It took me like what three days just to finish Artem's SR leveling up because I locked the DXP. So, new update for Taiwan server is we get new attars from consultation. So, yeah. This is the attar that look war in. I forgot. Was it? And. No. 
School days. School days attire. Yeah, the youthful visit. School days one. Next, we have Vince attire coming. And our RG set is coming back. So, just in case if you missed it last time, then you can you can uh, buy it again later. Okay. You know what? Let me just do one more quest. <laughs> This is just gonna be fast. Okay. Power of Insta Fun. Okay. okay. Events. Valentine's MR is going to be harder and more cost costly. Yeah. So you don't have event tasks anymore. You have to spend S chips no matter what or sets so one mr is straight up 2300 this one yeah so in case if you missed the mr last year then mm. okay next ikuzo so cute she even has her case pattern pattern from artem lomo Super cute blush. Even Shake's homo. Oh my god, that's just cute. <laughs> I'll stick to this. I'm so stupid, wait. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so like they they went to the amusement park for a day and then you can see like home homo mascots and then MC's like dragging dragging Artem to the homo mascot. Like look look at the mascot, it's so fucking cute. Is Celestine. It's like it was semi awkward because like they were waiting for the others, <laughs> so they just stop it and then just wait for the rest to come. <laughs> so Celestine brings this kid to Artem and MC. It's like, oh uh, meet. Uh, this is Xiaoyi. Xiaoyi, you're going to play with them, okay? The baby is basically like a semi babysit in a sense. Who's this kid? Okay, so flashback a few days ago. I just finish a case what's up Celestine okay for the next two days how about you you and Artem go on like a vacation for the next two days it's like huh like if you have anything else just say it straight up what do you want us to help you like have you heard of Hoyoland then there's this event Then my friend's kid wants to get the event prize there. But then the the kid's parents are very busy and they're working abroad. So they can't accompany the kid to Hoyolan. So he asked me, but how about I ask you to take care of him instead? <laughs> because I'm semi-busy as well. 
and MC is like, oh man, the kid's parents aren't around. You didn't even ask for my dis- for my approval. <laughs> it's like, oh, she already approved, so it's fine. And treat of it like it's a date. And uh, right, right on it, like Friday's a rest day for them. So it's like, just take the opportunity to do it. Alright, so I'll pick I'll come back in the evening, okay? Have fun. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to play? That 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 like he just shakes his head. He's like I just want the prize and then I'll go home. <laughs> then afterwards he just kept quiet. <laughs> this kid the audacity <laughs> But then the kid's like semi shy. Like you can you can feel like a distance between you and the kid. <laughs> it's like this kid is semi weird. <laughs> so she tried to like close and not close him. Try to have a better relationship to the kid, but it's not really working. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's an ice cream truck. Do you want me to buy you ice cream? It's like, nah, no thanks. Thank. <laughs> and after she just avoids his case. Like, like the kid's super shy from MC. Like, all, all the kid wants is just a prize. <laughs> and then, like, MC even asks, like, do you want to play other, other rides? Are you afraid of heights? It's like, nope. Uh, just, I, I'm okay with any rice that you want. <laughs> so awkward. And this kid doesn't even want to look at MC. So, like, the most that he gives is like a sh very, very short answer. <laughs> it's like, uh, this mood. <laughs> it's like, the more that she talks to the kid, the more it gets more and more awkward. So, like, it's about time she just looks at Artem for help. <laughs> okay, so if you want to get the price, there are basically three challenges or three stages. The first stage is to go to Homo Cafe and get the item. So he brings out this map, then he just like draw like points or draw it. Then second, you have So you have to bring the item and you have to go to this lobby and look for uh look for the event stuff. And then after that, you have to finish a challenge, and then that's the time you can get the prize. It's like, oh. Okay, so this this game, this event game is a very, it's very appealing to young crowd and kids alike. So. <laughs> Also, the, the game is family friendly. So he searched up in the internet and he found the map already. So, yeah. How's our plan? And then he asked the kid, Are you okay with this plan? And then the kid was like surprised, and after he just shakes his head. It's like this kind of like the first time Artem kind of interacted with the kid. From from the whole day. Okay. So like the reason why you why the like Artem Artem tells the kid that the reason why he's acting like this is because he doesn't want to put more trouble for MC and Artem, and the kid just got surprised.
So it's like a restaurant, it's a cafe plus like event place. So they can like hang out more in the cafe area if ever. Alright, let's go to the cafe and register. Okay. It's like like it, the the difference that you can see from the kid with with MC versus the kid and Artem. You, you can see like the difference in the relationship. That's why MC was like, whoa, he can do that the fudge. But uh it seems much smoother when Artem is interacting with the kid compared to me. Like that. And then you can see like some a little bit of similarity between the kid and and Artem. So you go to the cafe. Okay. The kid finally talks. It's like, oh, hold up, minute. Can I go there alone? Huh? I don't want us to join. Uh, no. This is the first time that the kid actually talked to them. Like, volunteer, voluntarily said that he wants to go by himself. So, you couldn't... What you call it? You had the urge to not ask instead. It's like, yeah, of course. We we'll just sit here, order our drinks instead. So he goes off, and then you you heave a sigh, and Arthur's like, "Oh, what happened?" And then MC was like, "I don't know if it's me that I'm overthinking or what, but I feel like that that kid, that kid, barely speaks to me." Even though we're just like semi babysitters, but I can't help but feel like our our relationship's so distant. Is it because he hates me? And it's like nah, don't don't think too much about it. So what was the reason? Probably it's just my gut feelings wrong. I I think he's just worried that he couldn't understand. He couldn't understand us. He's like, huh? Un worried? It's like, he he's worried that the two of them, like MC and Artem, couldn't enjoy as much as uh, the kid because maybe their taste is different or their interests are different, like that. It's like, why would he worry, be worried of us? Kids can sometimes like sense the atmosphere. So at the same time, it tends to get a little bit awkward because like you're spending time with someone that you barely know. Like this is like your friend's, what you call it? Your friend's friend's son, in a sense. So it's kind of awkward. So I asked the store shopkeeper. Like try to observe what the kid's doing. Then like, what what the kid's doing is that he's uh he's talking to the shopkeeper and introducing uh MC and Artem. Like yeah, how how'd you know? Uh read his lips. <laughs> like, whoa, lip reading. What's he saying now? Is he, the kid said my dad and my my dad and mom are there. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, there, kid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> the moment that you keep thinking about it, and then <laughs> like the moment you think about it, the more you can feel that you and Artem are like are kind of like acting like parents or a couple <laughs> and Arthur just realized it himself then he's like oh god <laughs> then you try your best to change the topic <laughs> but I'm pretty sure uh good thing you good thing you're here and uh, otherwise, I will keep thinking that the kid hates me and everything. 
but both of us just uh, just know the kid just now so how did you how did you understand the kid so fast uh, let's, let's just say we have uh, let's just say that both of us have some similarities Like, huh? Similarities. And then MC was like, "What? How? How is Artem so skilled in understanding kids? Is it because?" So the reason why Artem can relate so so much with the kid is because when he was when Artem was a kid, he experienced the same way like that. Like he doesn't really go out much because his parents are busy and everything. Uh ask Artem, don't ask Artem, ask Artem. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. Is it because when you're a kid, you also experience the same, same experience as him. So in a sense, you kind of understand how the kid's thinking. And he just like, huh? And he just nods. I wouldn't say like same experience per se. It's just that it's not like the exact scenario, but more or less similar thing as well and it's like after after we eat let's take a photo oh it's like yo wait what <laughs> it's like wait what that's it <laughs> it's like oh my god you forgot okay so this is your quote unquote set meal so they have like a special set meal there And then, right, they, the task is they have to go to the cafe. They have to order this this meal. And it's going to give them the quote unquote special item. Then the special item is basically a homo head bun. And it's like, what? This is the item? It's like, no wonder it's, no wonder it's very friendly to the tourists. It's like, oh my god, so cute. This is uh, homo, homo ears. <laughs> So you you can you can even take a photo with Homo while wearing it. <laughs> so the requirement is you have to like one of one of you needs to wear that headband and look for the NPC for the event. It's like yo you have to wear these ears. <laughs> and then MC is like mm, I wonder if if Artem looks good with this with these ears with these Homo ears or not. And then Artem, Artem kind of sensed that MC was looking at him, and he's like, and he like semi uh, chuckles in a sense. <laughs> it, it's like okay, so while we're while we're here, help me wear it. My God, so cute. Um, this is can be? Is this fine or is it too high? <laughs> oh my god, so cute again. It's like, yeah, it's just right. <laughs> it's like you're, you're not focusing enough. It's like, haha. <laughs> it's like, what are you thinking? I'm thinking. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm just thinking that how, how much 
I've been staring quite a lot and you look quite different with the headband and then he's like <coughs> uh, actually you can look at me as, as, as long as you want <laughs> but me wearing this is it does it look weird on me it's like nah it actually fits you it it def it definitely gives off a different vibe from Mr. Art Mr. Lawyer Art and Wing. <laughs> uh, you like it then it's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Gives that radiant smile over. Oh I suddenly want to tell you something. Shama? There is a saying, there is a saying that if you let the girl uh, dress up, the guy, then it's considered like you treasure, you treasure him. So I feel like uh, this, this saying makes a lot of sense. Artem, you're, you're my treasure. Oh, cute. <laughs> Rip your earphones. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Actually, this sentence I also want to tell you as well. You're my treasure. Ah, yo, my heart, holy shit. Oh, my poor heart, holy shit. <laughs> No, they should put the head on the sprite. <laughs> okay, while well, we have this opportunity, let's take a photo. I can treat it as a souvenir. It's like... Oh shit, right, he actually mentioned about taking a photo. Like, are you really sure you want to wear this while taking a photo? Yeah, what about it? It's, it's nothing. Then just wear that homo headband and picture with homo then. <laughs> then they took a photo. Right, one person, one photo. <laughs> oh my god. Well, and then after that you look at the kid. The kid... Uh, it's like, oh my god, this is the first time I actually saw him smile. You couldn't help but take a photo of Artem as well. <laughs> actually, you can see it from the kid's, uh, what do you call that? Mannerism? Or like, the way the kid moves like he's been wanting to take a photo because he keeps looking at all the like picture frames on the wall even though he doesn't really say it he doesn't have the initiative to say it but like uh if you if you try to understand then you'll know what he's thinking sasuga artem <laughs> nah this is nothing I feel like those those small those small moments that you understand what the kid is thinking and what he wants, then those are like one of the most precious moments. Alright, let's do the event task. So 20 minutes later, you're at the event area and there's that NPC. And then, but then that NPC, there's literally a very, very long line and then the event has like a timer and they're like, oh my god, we might not make it. I mean, it's it's reasonable why the line's very long. It's because Homo's a famous character. As everybody 
knows Homo is like the superstar, like that. Superstar, superhero. Then he doesn't talk again. How about you? You also like Homo, right? Like he doesn't say anything. <laughs> It's okay. You can you can talk. You can talk about it. I I know because uh, I know that my dad doesn't. Uh, my dad dot 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 or my parents doesn't really like me talking about it. So it's better if I don't say it. How about you try talking to us then? Then after a while. After a while, the kid says, I really, really like Homo. Looking at Homo uh, makes me very happy. If I can hug Homo, then that's even better. They can feel like a more different oh, vibe from the kid. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. But like, it makes your heart like, oh. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take note. Okay, now that it's almost almost there homo recognizes your item so you are here for the final challenge it's like what why why challenge okay so this one the kid the kid needs to help the parents decide okay okay so the the parents needs to do the event task while the kid is like coaching them in a sense <laughs> right who do you choose mm, this is easy huh okay so the kid the kid chose like a category and then the kid chose the homo devil king it's like homo devil king or devil king homo okay so this is one of the category of the challenge and you need your parents to go to the event stage and you have to beat the devil king homo it's like, yo, we have to battle him? Uh, do you know how to play this art? <laughs> that, that, that. Uh, I guess this is... <laughs> okay, so here goes the challenge. Like, none of, none, like both of them don't even know how to play this game. So they're like, uh, <laughs> and then like for the fourth time that they see the game over it's just like awkward <laughs> like you can see the ho the devil king homo's hp is still really really high <laughs> but the their characters are already dead it's like Bruh, <laughs> this difficulty is pretty hard. <laughs> and then he heaves the size like, it's okay, Art, then we can try again. It's probably like our strategy has some issue. We can like work it out. No, no, it's not because of this. It's like, and then the kid's like, uh, it's it's okay. You don't have to try. I don't want the price anymore. I thought the challenge would be really easy. Sorry. Oh, poor kid. It's okay. And the kid. And then he just like the more he talks, the more that he shrinks. He shrinks back. Like his voice gets softer and softer. Like he feels so bad. It's okay. Then Artem, then Artem head pats the kid. It's like, look at me, lift your head. 
this is this isn't your fault it's big actually we should be the one who's thanking you thanking you that you thought for us yeah you actually did a good job kid remember what i tell you we will make sure that you that we will uh we will enjoy it yeah so just believe in us <laughs> sweet and then he chooses a different character let's go <laughs> then suddenly Artem's character just changes uh, wait yeah it suddenly just changes weapon from a claymore to a gun And then he prepare he prepares the what you call that skill skill and then attacks the the homo devil king <laughs> then afterwards you can see you can see the words uh like critical hit something like that or attack to weak point three times ah uh, no not three times like the hp just dropped by one third it's like yo what the fuck <laughs> wait so you chose these characters because because like uh this this character what you call this has like interesting skill sets basically. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. RPG translating to Chinese Chinese to English is pretty hard for me. I'm sorry. But like something like that. He found that his skill the skills of the character is actually pretty nice and it fits his gameplay. So yeah. It's like yo. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Ikuzo. <laughs> so uh Artem finally reaches the Ajagal? Is it achievement or ability? Something like that. So they defeated that. So they tried to like combine their skills and then just keep playing until the Homo Devil King's HP drops until zero. Then bam! You can hear. You can look. You can see the two words "good game" in the screen. But basically, they won. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain's buffering so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congrats! You finally beat the beat it. Okay. Wait for a minute. My 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 kid. Uh, I mean, our kid has a wish. Oh my god! The the way that Artem says "our kid" <laughs> just just hits you quite differently. <laughs> Can can you can you give him a hug? And then that that giant giant homo tilts his head and then afterwards uh afterwards like says yes. It's like oh so Artem actually did remember. And then Homo gives the kid a hug. <laughs> Aww. This is so cute. Okay. Aww. So afterwards, like s someone called, someone called the kid already. Like it's time to go home, and then the kid is like, "I don't wanna go. I still want to stay beside, beside Miss and him." It's like, ah. Then he, Artem goes to the kid and say, like, "Why do you say that? Because you, you, you accompany me. You care for me, and you're willing to listen to what I say." My parents, they don't. They they're always uh they're always away. And I feel so distant with them. I also like them, but uh wait. But at the same time, I kind of miss them a lot. And then he gives the kid a head pat. So you finally said the words 
uh, you finally spoke the words that you ah wait you finally spoke the words that you really want to say oh my god i'm so sorry and then from afar you can see the car like it's the kid's uh, parents car then he didn't move and he didn't say anything until he's like next time or or until then can we still play again in the amusement park and it's like yeah of course but at the same time you should uh But at the same time, you should also listen to what you just said, right? There are there are some things that you have kept for so long, and it's it's much better if you say it out, especially to the right people. Ah, then the kid starts tearing up. No. Ah. And gives one and then the kid kid just like nods his head then you accompany the kid to the car until the car uh, until the car travels far and far away already and then afterwards after seeing the kid off you thought you thought back to what Artem said in the cafe like they had similar experience it's like those those words that he said a while ago was it really talking to the kid or is he talking to his kid self did he like at some point did he thought of his childhood and is he sad about it it's like oh what are you th what are you thinking uh me but you could say anything. I was thinking. Uh, I a while ago I asked that you that your experience and that kid is similar. It's like, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Do you still remember the time that we went to the haunted house? Wait, this one, I, I do not have this card, so I have no idea what was the context. It's the one that MC and Artem went to the haunted house. That's one of the permanent SSRs, eh? So, I have no idea about this one. Like, I never knew that... Uh, I never knew that you actually thought of it or remembered it. Then you nod your head. So when you're a kid, you really had similar experiences with Joey, and then he just looks at you, gives you like a semi-sad smile. It's like, don't worry, even though I didn't really have that much bonding time with my parents, but me and that kid were not alike. I still have... Uh, I still have that time I had with my mentor and they're not huh? who has who has a good relationship with my parents I never I never thought of uh, I never thought of not saying what I want to say because they're always willing to listen to my ideas and thoughts so why did you that 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 then he just looks away then you can you can tell that the expression on his face is remembering something uh, i guess i would say a little bit of regret it's like huh yeah because back then i would i would sometimes wish that i wish i can be like other kids who can have a lot of bonding time and also spend my childhood happily uh, or or a kid that can do whatever he wants 
and can uh, can introduce the things that he likes to his parents but uh, I, I'm afraid that people would laugh at it but I know that this is not possible and they they have more important things to do so so you re- so you are like that kid who chooses to hide things to him to yourself yeah but don't worry about it those things rarely happen so it doesn't really impact me so much you sh- these things if only you told me a little bit earlier Actually, before, I, didn't, I never had that opportunity. Uh, before a relationship were, was like this, I never even have the courage to tell you all of this. And it's fine. <sighs> Look at me! What are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. So you cup your hands on his cheeks and... And just straight up tell him. All, all, all this, all these times that you couldn't say what you want. Now today is a good day to do it. Because, because you consider me as one of your closest family, right? Ah! <laughs> it's like yeah, of course. Then. Then let's not waste time and uh, what you call this? Make make bawe. What's make bawe in English? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you say make bawe in English. Uh, <laughs> recover our regrets. I, I don't really know how to say that. So you spend the next the rest of the day just playing just playing in the amusement park like just do whatever so you do a lot of stuff like taking a photo uh and taking a photo riding the rides and everything like you you treat this like a special time between you and uh artem <laughs> this is bumper car. Yeah, it's bumper car. <laughs> it's like, oh, be careful. It's like, nah, stop looking at me. You have, you have to bump other cars as well. <laughs> I love how he's trying to be careful in driving, but this is bumper cars. No one gives a shit. <laughs> it's like, hey, eh, you. <laughs> well, that is your fault for trying to. Uh, give yourself an opening for my ambush. He's like, okay, now time to get serious. Alright, let's go to the... What you call it? Be- beach side? Or like the cliff side. And let's scream to the heavens. <laughs> then it's like... <laughs> then you could help but just take a photo of Artem. <laughs> and then the usual like the usual telenovela scenes and anime like you just scream to the heavens, I wish I'm the best blah 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 ever or something. Yeah, you know, something like that. That's what they did. Then afterwards you can see like the what do you want? This one boat where you have to pedal. Where you have to pedal the boat in order for it to move. I don't know what you call it. <clears throat> and then there's like a lot of people lining up. Oh. We can we can paddle uh we can paddle a little bit farther and find a place when there's not much people. Nah. Brings the vibe of like the carnival vibe there's a lot of people 
Uh, actually, while we were we were testing out the rides, I actually pictured a lot of good stuff. <laughs> we want to take a look at it. Like MC was basically like showing the photo to to Artem, like the gallery. Uh, this is the one where we took a photo at blah. This is where we took a photo at this. At that. Let's go. Oh God. These photos of you are very special. Like the, this this photo of you look really really good. It's like. 说明你玩的很投入，所以我才能被你带动。Like, oh, this is all because of your your influence on me. That's why I was smiling like that. Like, you, uh, for every photo that you swipe, you can see Artem being more and more happy like that. Actually, you don't have to be so worried. Me. 过得真的很幸福。Actually, you don't have to really worry about、uh, what happened to me back in my childhood because I actually had a pretty good childhood. Not gonna lie, like that. But then you couldn't help but feel a little bit of. Sadness for him because when he was a kid, he's like a pro semi prodigy level, right? So in a sense, you have those semi pressures that you have to keep up that level, and then at the same time,、uh, when you when you're talking about something non academic related or non like all the fun stuff related, you can feel that your parents are gonna get bored or they're gonna be uninterested. So yeah, you choose to keep it to yourself. Yeah, that 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 feeling. So you want to spend every single moment of this day to make him happy like a kid again, something like that. Like to make to make it up, yeah, that's the word. To make it up for all the moments he couldn't do as a kid. Well, you know, you know what?、Uh, right now, I'm feeling that、uh, I've already received the "quote unquote" bow from my regrets. The I don't know how to say it. it. I don't know how to say it in English. The things that I've regret has already been made up. Something like that. It's like why? Because I want the most valuable thing. 已经在这些照片里了。Oh my God, what the fuck are they so smooth? Because the the thing that I really really want is already inside this photo. 小时候我听过一句话，游乐园都是有魔法的。Oh, when I was a kid, I've heard that amusement park amusement parks all have some magic. 但我现在觉得，这句话似乎不是很恰当。And right now, I feel I feel like this this saying isn't super accurate. 对我来说，真正有魔法的，应该是你。And in my in my eyes, the real magic comes from you. Oh my God, so smooth. 我很庆幸遇见了你。I'm really really blessed to have met you. And then he pulls you a little bit closer to show that how much he treasures this moment. Ah. Like. Me, me also. I'm really, really happy to meet you, Artem. And from then on, I will always, always accompany you by by your side. Yo, that's so smooth. This is one once in a lifetime、uh, opportunity, something like that. Damn, so smooth. Right, let's look at the text message. K. 
Okay, let's play that game again. But this time you have to really, really teach me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no problem. I already uh, researched a little bit on it. Okay, during during work, you're the one who's teaching me a lot of stuff. Now, finally, it's my turn to take take on the role as the mentor. <laughs> like every every person has their own strengths and weaknesses. So there are some areas that you know more than I do. Also, uh, also this game, this game has go up, so I'm pretty sure it will go well. It's like yeah, I believe in us. Uh, next time, next time. Uh, can I ask Can I ask how come you said not tonight and not tomorrow? Tonight because because tonight you need to get some rest and, and go to sleep tomorrow because tomorrow's tomorrow is the following day. What? <laughs> is it trying to make a pun? Oh my god. What the heck are them? Oh, Artem's so strict. Cool, cool. <laughs> okay, uh, that game, where should I download? Basically, he's like, like saying send recommendations of the game. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm not really familiar with this, so... Once I download it, I'll ask you again. <laughs> so cute. Yay. Nice. Free S chips pug. Oh, that's just so cute. Oh my god. Wholesome. But like it's kind of surprising like even in like a carnival event you can see like a little glimpse of their past which is oh oof <laughs> semi oof <laughs> okay yeah. oh what do i do with 100 stamina <laughs> when there's no event <laughs> this sucks What other sword can I translate? I- Oh my god, I used the wrong deck Fuck. <laughs> That's fine, it's fine. I've been read Vince SS. I. Vince S. R. Because I don't have it. But so far. So far. If we're going to rank it from fluff to. Angst. I would say Artemis is the fluffiest, then then look then Marius. Not your line. For for this uh, for this Hoyo Land series. Let's check at Artem's cake. <laughs> Wait, let me just finish my stamina. Let's do a full round cake inspection. 
<laughs> so cringe, what the fuck? Uh, let me just... done for the game now let's take a look at artem's cake <laughs> emphasize all cups cake <laughs> she's cake <laughs> uh, look at that booty check <laughs> oh my god i just can't fuck this shit <laughs> Oh, look at that, man. I imagine if the name card is just like this, 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 this part only. <laughs> cake. <laughs> look at my name card. It has cake on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't, don't grip me. Oh my God. Hmm. Ass check. Looks like a pilot attire. Okay, so he was like in in like a serious mode. Like sorry, uh, the mon uh Monday uh not Monday morning's event just ended, and uh there has been some delay. So I apologize for that. And then he got cut off because he saw MC. He's like, huh? Uh, how come you're here? 不是约好活动结束后，我去接你吗？没必要这么辛苦了。isn't that our agreement is that once this event is finished, I come and get you. Don't need to, like, uh, come all the way here. You want to check on... Okay, uh, you want to... You want to look at the experience. Like, like MC wants to experience. Uh, like she wants to experience the same class as what Artem is having right now. He's like, yeah, of course. But then there's a lot of people here, and I'll bring you to the break room. It's like, uh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Kalpas, Kalpas is literally clap that ass. <laughs> I'm so done. Uh, basically, when when they're in the break room, and then, uh, I'm going to assume that MC hugs Artem, and it's like, uh, you you were thinking of me, when silence, and afterwards, your face is really really red. And then, you did you intentionally do this? Let's take a break. Let's just sit down for a bit. From your house to here, it's about a half hour drive. You must be tired, right? Do you want to rest for a bit? From from your place and from your place until here takes around. One and a half hour. I'm pretty sure you're, you're kind of tired. Why don't you lean on me? 下午场的时间不长，你在这里等我结束，然后我们一起回家。Uh, the break time is really short, so how about you just stay here and wait for the event to finish, then we'll we'll go home together. Oh, 你让我先休息。You want to? You want me to take a break first? Ah, 好。Okay. 
可以借你的腿枕一下吗？哟，这 OK。Can I can I use your Can I borrow your lap as a pillow? Yo, he just asked for a lap pillow. Yo, let's go. Arden is getting pro, more bold. <laughs> 原来枕在恋人的膝上是这种感觉。很放松，也很安心。Oh my god! So this is what it feels like. So this is what it feels like having your lover, your lovers, as a lap, as a pillow. It feels relaxing and it feels soothing. <laughs> 让我不由自主的想放下所有责任和烦恼。就这样永远的与你相守在一起。Oh my god, it it makes me forget all my all my problems and responsibilities. If only this moment could last forever. Yo. <sighs> 嗯，确实有些困。那我先睡一会儿。等时间到了，你叫醒我。Mm, it's indeed, it's indeed kind of, uh, kind of rough. So, uh, let me let me just take a short nap. After some time, you just wake me up, okay? <laughs> oh my God, lap pillow, let's go! <laughs> so so far, Vin gets a lap pillow. Artin gets a lap pillow. Look and Marius, as far as I remember, no lap pillow yet. Oh my God! Look at them taking the lead. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, second part. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. Oof! They can hear like some beeping. Then afterwards, you hear something drop like. Uh, be careful. Are, are you? Uh, are you hurt anywhere? Ah, 那就好。盒子里应该是朋友送的小礼物，我拆开看一下。嗯 ，in inside the inside the box must be a gift from your friend. I'll open it. 啊，这是一个头子，还有使用说明书。Wait, what's this? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> sorry. Let me just ask the dictionary. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is.、Eh? Ah, it's a dice and a book. 头子上不同的数字对应不同的内容。一对应的是带上猫儿给对方讲睡前故事。Oh my god. Okay, so it's some sort like a dice. Uh, it's like a dare, a dare die. So one one side of the dice has a lot of has a different meaning. So for example, one dot means you have to wear cat ears, and you have to you have to tell a bedtime story. This, ah, 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 this Thing seems like a very popular game for couples. Like it's more of like a couples game. Actually, pretty interesting and pretty new. Hmm. We, 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 最让你心动的地方。<laughs> oh my God! So Artem rolled the dice and it landed on a three. Three means kiss, kiss any part that you think makes your heart more doki doki. I I don't know how to say it. <laughs> 要是害羞的话，我
我们还要继续吗 ？If you think this is way too way too much, do you still want to continue? 那么，我要开始执行投资上的指令了。Okay, I just follow. 要不要猜猜看，我的选择是什么？ It's like okay. I'm just followed what the dice say. Do you want to guess which part am I going to choose? Hmm. Hmm. 眉毛 Eyebrow. 眼睛 Eyes. 鼻尖 Nose. 耳垂 Ears. 还是这里 Or here. 其实你无论猜哪一个。都是正确答案。Well, no, actually, no matter what what you guess, all of them are correct answers. 因为你的全部都让我心动。Because every single part of you makes my heart move. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> 这个游戏很有趣，不过今天太晚了。剩下的，我们留到下一次再玩吧。I can't it's like oh, this game is actually pretty interesting, but it's getting quite late already. Next time, let's just con let's just continue another time. Damn it! I was. I was waiting. I was waiting for a kiss sound at the end. It didn't. <laughs> oh my god! You know what this MR? <laughs> I'm not an I'm not an art and stand, but what the fuck? <laughs> It's starting to get hot in here. <laughs> Omg! <laughs> Omg! 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 <laughs> Big time OMG! Holy shit! <laughs> ah, my eyes! I cannot! I cannot! I cannot! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Omg, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> 马上就可以吃早餐了。怎么了？为什么直勾勾的盯着我看 ？Okay, let me let me try one more. The Halloween MR of Arden. It's like it's almost it's almost breakfast, but why do you keep looking at me? 虽然仿生人是由机械造就而成，但至少在外形上，应该和人类相差无几才对。抗拒？不，你是我的所有者，想看多久都可以。哇哦 ！I I love how Arden keeps saying， 想想看多久就可以。Like I I don't know how many times he said that all throughout the mall. It's like saying, uh, me me as a As an Android,、uh, in the inside it's it's fine, but like from the outside I look human-like. Oh my god! Oh. Huh? Why? 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 所以，还要继续是吗？嗯。So at this rate, you're you're gonna continue. 知道了。那我把扣子解开。Okay, so I open my pocket. 怎么样？皮肤表面应该没有任何损伤才对。嗯。It like there's no difference in my skin or anything. 但是，你的动作让我有些奇怪的感觉。嗯
but the but your mo your actions makes me feel a little bit weird. 看来你说的没错，我的内部程序大概真的中了病毒。Your, you, what you said was correct. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Like I have contracted some disease or something. Be <laughs> don't, don't don't touch my waist. 痛。不是，我没有痛觉。刚才的反应，我也不知道是为什么。It's like pain. No, no. It's not, it's not the feel of pain. It feels like something. Something else, but I don't know why this happens. 与其说是难受，不如说我其实希望你能继续下去。You can say it, I'm a little bit sad because、uh, I actually want, I actually wish you you could continue. Oh ho! <laughs> 看来我已经变得越来越异常了。Feels like. 在我彻底失控之前。你可以选择尽快将我返厂处理掉，或者能让我更进一步，再靠近你一些吗？如果你还不拒绝，那我就当做是默许。Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> like actually, I've I've been, um, I feel like I've started to change more and more. Uh, more and more, I feel like I start to change more and more. Yeah, and then, but then you can still, you can still change like op my options, change the commands, to like re reboot in a sense. Or you could let me come close to you more and more. So what is your choice? But if you did, if you don't decline or you don't reject, then I'll take silence as yes. Oh my God, Android Artem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 稍等，身体好像有些异常反应。明明差一点就到家了。这种情况要是被发现，估计会被强制回收处理吧。It's like, okay, my body feels like it's reacting, it's reacting differently. If, ah,、uh, knowing that I'm almost home, if anyone finds out there's something wrong with me, there's a high chance I could get, ah,、uh, what you call, conf confiscated or like. Mm, forced to be taken away like that. 毕竟，只要我的行动不再可控，就代表我之后可能会有伤害你的风险。As long as I can control my own actions, then everything would be fine. 有人来了吗？ Someone's here. 抱歉。我暂时走不动了， Sorry, 你先离开就好。啊，你不需要凑那么近， so、是吗？伪装成正在恋爱中的情侣，或许就能蒙混过去。那，是像现在这样吗？嗯、mm, ，Is it that of I suddenly feel what, what you call it? What I suddenly feel the feeling of what is of what a lover would feel, or maybe I'm starting to lose my own control. Like now. 我记得，人类陷入热恋中时，会像现在这样。紧紧的靠在一起吧。I remember, uh, when lovers are together, they would hold, hold to, hold on each other this close, like this. 没事。I'm okay. 有你在，我感觉好多了。I feel much better. 嗯
你就像现在这样搂着我就好。Just stay with me, it's fine. 但是，他们来了，似乎正在看我们。They're looking at us. 啊，等，等等，你的手先不要动，别乱摸。<laughs> wait, <laughs> it's like uh uh wait wait don't don't move your hands your don't like touch me anywhere. <laughs> 为了更加逼真，这就是你胡来的理由吗？真拿你没办法。<sighs> 虽然他们走远了，但我总觉得。身体里的反应，似乎比刚才还要强烈。Even though they've left already, but for some reason my body feels, uh, different. 所以，令我逐渐失控的原因，是你吗 ？So the reason why I lost control is because of you. 是你也无所谓，我并不讨厌这种感觉。But I don't hate this. 就让我再靠一会儿吧，好吗？ Let me stay close to you, okay? Oh my God, this this Halloween ever is pretty. Let's say it's like an android trying to learn love, so they get like these different feelings and everything. Hmm, but to compare with looks MR, I prefer looks MR, and Marius MR. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Marius Marius MR is funny because he can tug his tail. Looks MR is also because he can touch his ears, <laughs> fluff his ears and fluff his tail. <laughs> Definitely not a furry. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, th that's just it for tonight. It's a really really quick stream because I'm just because one SR SR is way shorter story than an SSR. And MR is definitely even shorter. It's like a five minute recording. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's like super short and super sudden. But like, yeah, because I'll be busy over the weekend. So, yep. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the stream. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you in the next stream. Good night, and goodbye.